Hi gorgeous, welcome to this tapping session that is all about loving your body no matter where you're at right now. Now this is being recorded for the Vortex but I decided we would put it on YouTube as well for everyone to use because I have had so many requests for this over the past couple of months. I think especially with quarantine and lockdown, a lot of us are outside of our normal routines. We're walking less, we may not be going to the gym as much, our food options may be more limited. And so people are really struggling with how they feel about how they look and what they see in the mirror and how that's impacting their mental health. So I think this is a really important topic and that is why we're tapping on it today. Now, if you are new to this and you're here on YouTube with me, hi, I'm so glad that you're here. And we're gonna do tapping together on this. Now, tapping is an energy psychology technique where we use our hands and physical pressure to break up energetic blocks within the body so that we can implant new beliefs, we can relieve stress and anxiety, and we can start to feel really good about things again. And it sounds kind of weird and kind of crazy, but the results speak for themselves. So if you're curious about this, I really encourage you to give it a shot. There is no harm in doing it, and it'll be like 10 minutes of your life. And then if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, then it's not really a big deal. So before we get into this tapping, I'm just gonna show you what the points are. And I like to use both hands at once, but if that's not possible for you, then you can just use one, that's totally fine. So your first point is on the crown of your head, then the start of your eyebrow, your temples, under your eyes, under your nose, under your mouth, about an inch under your collarbone, under your armpit where your bra strap would go around, and then your two wrists together. So that's one round of tapping. And we're gonna do that several times. And as we tap on those points, you're gonna repeat out loud what I say after me. And if you're in a situation, maybe you're in a bathroom or something where you can't repeat it out loud, you can feel free to just repeat it in your head and tap, it'll still be just as effective. Okay, so before we start tapping, make sure that you've washed your hands. And I would love for you to have a bottle of water at the ready because this breaks up a lot of energy. So you wanna stay really well hydrated after you do this. It's really important to keep flushing your body after you do any energy work and tapping is no different. Okay, so let's start on the top of the head. Just follow after me and repeat what I say. I am feeling at odds with my body. I don't always love what I see in the mirror. And it's feeling really challenging right now. Maybe I never like what I see in the mirror. Or maybe I mostly like what I see. And right now is different. It doesn't matter where I am right now because I am choosing to love my body anyway. Even though I look in the mirror and I don't feel happy, I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. Even though there are things I would love to change or to improve, or to strengthen. I choose to love myself as I am. I choose to love myself right now. Maybe I've been beating myself up for how I look for a long time. Maybe I've always felt dissatisfied. Maybe my body has always been a battleground. but I don't wanna let that run my life anymore. I don't wanna let how I look in the mirror impact how happy I am. I don't want it to dictate how good my day feels. I don't want it to make me feel like shit. And I don't wanna use it as another way of punishing myself. Because if punishing myself really worked, surely I would look different by now. If beating myself up changed the way I looked, then I would have a totally different body. 
being mean to myself is not working. And so I'm ready to give that up. What if instead of looking in the mirror and saying nasty things to myself, I decided to focus on what was beautiful. And maybe right now, the only thing that's beautiful is my willingness to change. Or my eyebrows. Or my bottom lip. It doesn't matter what it is. Today, I choose to focus on one tiny thing that I can love, that I can appreciate, and that I can feel good about. And as I continue to do that every day, my vision of my body will change. And maybe I won't always love every single part of me. Maybe there will always be things that are difficult for me. But I'm willing to work towards total acceptance. I'm willing to work on loving my body. I'm willing to forgive myself for being so mean. And I'm willing to accept myself where I am right now. So as I work on appreciating my body, on loving it no matter what it looks like, I also choose to do something today that makes my body feel good. Now what that thing is, is up to me. Maybe it's about the food that I eat. Maybe it's about the movement I make. Or maybe it's just about the language I use. But today I choose to do something that makes me feel good. Something that makes me feel like my body is my own. And that my body is precious. That my body is beautiful right now. And that it's worthy of respect. Because I may have treated my body badly in the past. But today I recognize that my body is a treasure. And that it's my job to look after it. to appreciate it while I have it. And to learn to work up to looking in the mirror and feeling really beautiful. Feeling at peace with what I see. This might take some time but I might start to see a glimmer of it today. And wouldn't that be so beautiful? I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive my body and love and accept and forgive myself for all the times I have treated my body poorly. And I commit to moving into a new future where I only treat my body with love and compassion. Okay. Take a deep breath in, hold it at the top, and let it go. Now that was a big one. We all have so many stories about our body and why we can't love it right now and what we do to make it look the way we want it to look and everybody's story is really different. 
But if you take this tapping session and use it as a daily or a weekly practice, you will really start to shed some of those beliefs about why your body's not good enough right now. Everybody's body is good enough right now just because it exists. And we tell ourselves these stories that make ourselves feel so bad and they don't get us to where we wanna go anyway. So be sure to be gentle with yourself today because we did move a lot of stuff. And if this is something that was helpful for you, I would really love to hear it in the comments. I'm always interested in making stuff that's really useful for you that you can use on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And if you know that the people in your life are also struggling with how they feel about how they look, then please share this video with them. It's my dream that you know everyone that uses these videos and finds them useful shares them with someone that they know could use them as well so that we can all heal together and we can glow up together and we, we do this as a collective. So please share this with the people that you love. And if you liked this, we do this, exactly this, every week in the Vortex. It's so much fun. The link to register your name is below. So check that out. And again, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, take it easy today. Drink some water, look after yourself. And your homework, if you choose to accept it, is to leave a comment telling us what is the thing that you're gonna do today that will make your body feel good. We would love to hear whether that's, you know, eating something really nutritious, cooking for yourself, going for a walk around the block, dancing in your living room, whatever that is. We'd love to hear because your ideas help everybody else as well. So thanks for joining us and I will see you again very soon, I'm sure.